record stores these days are highly efficient and sophisticated in getting you the tracks you want fast. Most sites allow you to build an online profile by storing your favourite labels and artists so that when you return you can see who has new releases. Other sites have cool features such as djdownload.com. They have a feature called Needle Drop which allows you to see the whole waveform of a track. Then you can click anywhere in that waveform to see what is happening at that particular point. Great for listening to build ups and breakdowns. Also another key to getting the best out of your download stores is checking the DJ's charts. Most online sites will provide this information for you. So you can see what your favourite DJ is spinning and buying online. So now we have our tracks in time and we know how to mix it in. But what we want to know is when we want to mix it in. Now there are a few ways you can do this depending on how well you know your records and how competent you are. Let me show you. The first one is the intro outro where we get the first 60 seconds of our incoming track and layer it over the last 90 seconds of the track that is playing out now. So let's start. As always we're going to start this track at the beginning of a new phrase. So here we go. Now I'm going to bring this track up gradually. So it gives it a smooth flow. Taking the bass out just a little bit, just so it doesn't clash. Now this is a very safe way of mixing, but it's great for songs that may clash. So it's always a safe bet. This is your straight intro outro mix. Now I'm going to change the bass levels the base of the track that I'm about to drop into. And remember we're mixing with the up faders, so at the end of the mix, I'm going to bring this fader down. Okay, a straight intro outro mix. Okay, the next way we can mix is allow the elements of the incoming track to overlay the track that we're mixing out of. I'll show you. Again, we'll start at the beginning of a phrase. Again, bring that bass out. Create a smooth mix. There we go. 
Now, if your mix is sounding good, don't feel like you have to pull it out there. You can keep your mix going for as long as you want, as long as it sounds good for you and sounds good for your audience. Music is so wildly varied in the way it can be mixed, so make sure you experiment. Go out and listen to your favourite DJs, see how they put their tracks together. I know when I started, I used to go out and listen to my favourite DJs and hear the way they blended two tracks to make it sound like a totally new track. So experiment and have fun with it. I'm Sarah Main. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to DJ with me. Remember, persistence is the key and make sure you have fun with it. Welcome to the scene.